Thanks for staying with us. So it's our Just in Thursday, and we love to discuss family, relationships, and lifestyle on days like this. Today, we're discussing red flags. Everybody gives this general phrase, oh, watch out for the red flags. What are the red flags? But who really defines red flags? What mm. exactly is a red flag? <clears throat> How do you even recognize a red flag when you see it? Mm. Many people just um, like to advise us on what red flags is, but hardly give us specific scenarios of what a red flag looks like. And even if you see a red flag, can you, should you break up a relationship because of these red flags? Are there some red flags that you can actually work around? I know I said, are there some red flags we can manage? Because I'm saying, is it not just slapping? Don't worry, you'll be okay. <laughs> Don't worry, at least not beating, at least you didn't beat you. At least you didn't bleed. Mm. You just one slap. No or is it, was it not just shouting? Or was it not just um, taking something? You know, little red flags. Are there red flags that we can actually work around? That's the conversation today. You can call us on the numbers on your screen, 081 270 536 <laughs> 3907-6948. You can also tweet to us at TV Second. And please hashtag your view TV so we can read your tweets. Ladies, I want I, I don't I didn't want us to just mention red flags because mm -hmm. the truth is that we live in a culture where people say, listen, out of a hundred percent, if a man has at least 70 percent or even if he's 60 percent. Pass my name. At least he has passed. I mean, all the other ones, <laughs> these we can these are things you can manage. Those are the ones <clears throat> you can work at it. These mm -hmm. are things that somehow we can work at it. But how does a young person know what I can work at? What I cannot work out, where he can mm. change. Because I'm going to say, yes, I, was, I used to be aggressive mm. as a bachelor. <clears throat> when I met my wife, she softened me up because of her humility. She's a love. woman of God. Mm. Her love, her care, mm. all that grandeur. I, I changed. Used, I changed. Mm. You know, I so there are testimonies like that. So why are we, <laughs> so should we, <laughs> should we, should we, should we stop a, a young person say, don't <laughs> go and die once you see a red flag. Is it enough? Let me, let me, let me start with you, PC. Okay. My advice will be um, way the red flag according to the intensity of how it affects you as a person and your mental health. Because what would affect my mental health would be different from what would affect your mental health. Uh, if, for adventure, I grew up in a house where everybody shouts, we have a very loud voice. When we're speaking, we're screaming, and it's not like we're upset with each other, but that's how we've been communicating. And I starts dating someone who is in that space, who is always raising his voice mm. while we are communicating. If a top man comes to visit me and he sees how the guy talks to me, she could think, this is a red flag. <laughs> Why is he shouting at her? But because in my own background, I've been raised to see people and think it's normal to raise your voice when you're speaking, I wouldn't see it as a red flag. Mm. So nobody would define or will define uh, what a red flag is. To you, you have to define it according to the intensity mm -hmm. of how it affects your mental health. Now, there are some red flags that are very obvious to the world when it comes to outright abuse, physical abuse. Mental abuse is just now that people are beginning to pay attention to it. It's actually cut deeper than the physical abuse, but a lot of people don't see it. They'll say, eh, he's gave, he gave you some bad words. He did the, eh, he's not obvious now. Eh, well, I manage it now. Maybe he was angry. They'll find a way to make excuses. But you have to ask yourself, how does this affect me as a person? Can I flourish in this environment where somebody is constantly talking down at me, where somebody is constantly farting in public when I'm with them, when somebody is constantly monitoring me? Can I survive in this atmosphere? And that also takes you to knowing who you are. Because if you do not know who you are, you do not know what you like and what you don't like, you will not be able to see it right. at the beginning till it gets worse, yep. right? So if you know who you are, it helps you to say, okay, this, this, this. And even if this person scores 80 over 100, but the remaining 20 is so detrimental to you, I would advise you to take a walk because okay. we may say in the scoring it's 80 now it's not just this one that mm. they are doing but this one that they are doing can take you to an someone, early grave someone will listen to you and say hmm it's nice for you to say you have a good husband family you know it's easier for you to say that especially when things look good for you um someone will say the end sometimes justifies the means at least i have married at least i have children mm. because they'll say i am 70 years old if I had listened to all this advice at the age of 30 and not married, maybe I won't have children by now. So at mm. least, yes, I took it, <clears throat> I, I took all that, and God will compensate me. All that red flag, I would manage it. So mm. at least at 70, I have children who are surrounding my table. That's some of the rationale we think that let us just mm. manage it. At least you have children. Okay. I don't agree. I don't think that 
we should say um, people should cope with whatever just so that they can say they are married. In most cases, it applies to women, but even with men, some men tick the box to say, I'm an only child as a man, I, my parents are on my case, let me just m marry and give my parents grandchildren, even though the woman doesn't in any way catches my fancy, she does not, she's not a par with me intellectually. She lights my fire. She doesn't even, I don't, I don't find her in any way attractive, but she's from a good home. My parents approve her, let me do this for them. That's not marriage. Marriage is a lifetime journey of companionship that should bring you peace and joy and with a place where you can grow. And if we, we need to stop that idea that we will do it just for society or we'll manage. Mm -hmm. um, it's better to get it right before you get into the relationship in the first place. But many people get married without being self-aware enough to know what is their trigger or what is a red flag. I didn't even, okay, so I knew a red flag because I had been with someone who I felt I was saying something he didn't, he didn't agree with and he held my hand and he held my hand in a very, very painful, firm way. And I wanted to like, uh, why would you hold my hand? And he, the grip became tighter. Mm -hmm. I just knew <laughs> this, I, I cannot be in a relationship with someone like this. Like you can't hold my hand. And he said something about, how can a woman be richer than her, hus than her husband? Yuck, yeah. I, I just took off. But even at that, I don't think, I, thinking about it now, actually, I was self-aware enough to know because I noticed those two things. But many people don't notice. They just feel like he's a one or maybe he's in a bad mood, maybe it was a bad day. We need to start preparing our, our young ones with the intention to, I mean, with the idea of what they should look out for. That's in terms of parenting. When you're looking at ah, this man, don't look at a man that is like this. So if a man is raising his hand or is being violent to people around you, he would be violent with you. We need to save, um, have those conversations. But the most important point I feel I would I need to make, which is in contradiction to what you what you you suggested, is that marriage is not the ultimate. We shouldn't marry just to fulfill all righteousness. Mm. We should marry because we are ready for that journey. We're ready for the responsibility and we're ready for the long-term companionship because there will be issues, of course, but the ones that you can deal, see from the get-go, please open your eyes before you even jump into it in the first place. And uh, there's a long list from the person that initiated so this so, conversation. So there, was somebody, there was a post, and I come to write on that, uh, some, 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 some post about um, six ladies sharing the red flags they had seen that caused them to stop relationships, some ranging from bullying, um, excessive control and jealousy, isolation from friends, a lot of people have experienced that, mm -hmm. emotional abuse, being secretive, <clears throat> monitoring, manipulation, and even anger. So sometimes you meet a guy who just feels that, please, I don't want your friends around because they just feel like I've, you, you and I now, it's about you and I. They start with, it's, it's, a, it's a me, you relationship. Mm -hmm. Let's live about your friends. And gradually you realize that all your friends that you used to, be hang, you used to hang out with, they, they stop that. But somebody will say, is that enough red flag? I mean, these are some red flags that your mother will say, uh, uh, that, that's not a red flag. Now, he doesn't want your friends to come he out. He just loves you. He just loves you. He, mm. just, he just loves you. Or a man <laughs> who comes across as somewhat obsessive that he doesn't want you going anywhere. When you, when you, when you dress nice, only dress nice inside the house. Mm. When you step out, he wants you to look at a certain way. It's like everybody, nobody and will see. And for many people, it's not a red flag. And your flag. parents will be like, ah, he loves you now. Why can't let me come to you as a, man, <laughs> as a mother you know, also? What are your thoughts? There, there, there are some, there, there, I think that there are some men and women who are very good at concealing their true nature. Mm. That red flag will not come till you have entered yes, the, the you. matter. Absolutely. So the real question I think should be is, what do you do when the red flag yes. shows itself we'll after come, the we'll marriage? Come, we'll come into that. Because we'll come into that. <laughs> Don't I, rush us. I, we'll into, yeah. I, I know of this girl. That, why I said this, because I know of this girl. She married this guy. He was loving and everything. The day they got married like this, Back on. all her friends, Away, everything. When she was going shopping, security, female security guy, not male, no, used to follow her. Hmm. I had met her in the supermarket before with a security guard. As I was talking to her, that one was standing. <laughs> so we had heard, okay, ah, this girl got married to this guy, and I just looked at her with pity Aww. because that he did like... not show her that, that sign oh, before. God. They got married. So maybe there is somebody that can actually tell women, okay, look out for this, 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 because he might not show it now. I mean, I had a boyfriend who, <laughs> one day, uh, me, I was, uh, you know, I, I, I love to dance. Uh, one day I was at uh, trying, I was dancing. I was, I was <laughs> in my 20s. And he just came, and he was standing there. 
And then someone greeted me and, hey, Yanni, Kiniko, Kiniko. I greeted him. As I just got to him, he just said, Yanni, who was that guy holding you? <laughs> <laughs> Are you serious? I said, I said, I, I even felt that. Ah. You said I said, who was that guy holding you? <laughs> I just said, that was the last day he ever saw me. <laughs> you ran. <laughs> what? Because I, I, I was just, the guy, I, 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 the guy I, I, was just my friend. He was not thinking to me, he was just beating me. Uh, you already passing the boundary. Me, <laughs> hey, no, what he even said was, I will slap you now. I said, who was that guy holding you? <laughs> <laughs> Ah, that I will slap you now. You should be in Hollywood. Uh, she, but she's in Hollywood, right? Huh? You should be in Hollywood, honestly. But you see, but you see I think Waiki has taken us to the next phase of the conversation. Yeah. Because we wanted to start with what are the red flags? Mm. But what, the what is that? Yeah. Many people is different. Take, you know, many people take the red flags or they pretend to people they are perfect. They end, they, they, they seal or conceal their red flags and they now enter the marriage. Mm. A lot of homes right now, personalities are coming out and the men are thinking. <coughs> I didn't realize <coughs> she was like this. Old. I didn't realize she couldn't cook. I, couldn't, I didn't realize stop that. There's some men that cooking is a big deal breaker for them. In the past, maybe she would call, she had a busy as a sister who would have cooked up the whole house. When he comes around, he would think that, where well, are you been sleeping She's with the one. Kids. You're mm. not knowing that, mm. that it was her older sister that hooked her up. Mm. You now enter the marriage between you and auntie cannot cook and you don't want the house help. You know? mm. So there are different, different things that happen. What, when you now enter the marriage and I see the red flag, can it, mm. that's I said, is it possible that there are some red flags that you can work around if you choose to? Because if you have entered marriage, you have to work with it. No, you don't have to. Mm. But there are some red flags you can walk around. It's, in, the, in this particular conversation, the red flag is individual because there are some things that I can tolerate mm. based on, like BC said, my background. If Shouting can be a deal breaker for, mm. many, for many people. For me, it's a major deal breaker. I don't like it. I didn't grow up in that environment where there's any shouting going on. Even... What is not shouting, I'm sensitive to it. I'm like, you can't shout. You know we have an agreement. You can't shout at me. It cannot work. I can't take it. But some, somebody else is like, ah, I was there. So knowing your personality, if the foundation of that marriage was right, if there was love, if there was true consideration for long-term growth as individuals, <coughs> there is no red flag you can't walk on. If the person loves you, he will do everything to want to make himself better. Just this, uh, vice versa. So if the foundation was right, every red flag can actually be dealt with. Monitoring. If you love your partner and you realize this monitoring is really stifling uh, my partner, you would, you would tone it down. Every marriage will work if both parties genuinely love each other and want, want it to, it to work. work. The That's challenge is if it is one person feeling the burden of, being, uh, of the red flag challenges and the other person is insensitive to your partner's needs. That's where the problem okay, comes in. Thanks for staying with us. We're discussing red flags today. And the last one we talked about is physical abuse. I know people can easily say, oh, that's a red flag. But we've seen people who say that, oh, well, one slap, okay. Maybe one push, you know, it's not so bad. But to modern women, we just say, no, I don't care. I have to go. Let me come to you. Is it red, amber, or green light? Yeah, green. I know it's definitely not green. Was it amber or, or red? Red. It's red for you, Definitely right? red. Even if it's just a push. Let me tell you something. When, when your partner starts, they never stop. Mm. It's something that um, <clears throat> most people that does that have been abused one way or another. So they are victims. So it's, it's something that when you start, when you start with pushing the head, slapping a bit, and then the person condones it, and it builds up, and it builds up. And guess what? People will say, eh, she is abused. They didn't kill the person. It's worse than killing. Mm. I, I, I can, I'm talking from experience. When, you, when, you, when you've been abused emotionally, when you, when you get people to tell, tell you things like, you can never get anybody it's, like me. Mm. I'm the best thing that could happen to you. That is a major psychological abuse. Mm. Mm. And when you get people to be... I, when, when I was living my mind, I left with no form of self. I was, I was like a dead man. Yeah. You understand? My, my whole brain was dead, dead. So the truth of the matter is when you say hey, it can be managed or it's just a push, mm. I say no, okay. no. I get that. So some would say, for example, we built a home together. We have a lovely house. Our kids are going to a beautiful school. We travel abroad every <laughs> summer. We are a happy couple. It was just one anger. So something happened. I'm frustrated at work. Things just really got bad. And you came in my face. So I hit you. Not because <clears> I really want to hit you, but I hit you once. Now, should the woman start saying, ah, you hit me once, so they said that once you hit me, that is it, I start leaving. Or is this something we can discuss and talk around? 
Okay. Um, are you saying yeah, he didn't beat before the marriage? Mm -hmm. It's just one day during the marriage. Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, it depends on your tolerance level, I think. If 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 you say, and then he, he, I mean, it doesn't happen again. But in most cases like that, once they beat you once, they might beat you again. Mm. So if it, I, it depends on your tolerance level. Mm. So I think you train what I, you tolerate. I didn't, uh, I didn't leave my husband when he slapped me. It was because I warned him, go, if you ever try it again, mm -hmm. it. Mm. And he took, I, he took that warning as a very serious warning. So he never tried again. It wasn't that slap yes. that That'd broke up our marriage. Mm. Ah. But other things... I get it somewhere. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think now, dear, dear. So <laughs> I train, you, you train what you tolerate. Now, one thing with abusers is that they push boundaries. They test you. Mm. You think they don't have fear. They ha actually have fear. They are afraid, but um, they don't know how to back down once they start testing you and you are allowing them. So today they push you, you allow it. Tomorrow it graduates to they slap once, you allow it. Next mm. tomorrow they punch mm. two times, you allow it. The next time they'll carry cane, hit you to the point you get to the hospital, <laughs> you allow it. You make excuses for, for them, them because of the so-called love you're feeling. While you're making that excuses, you're getting bonded to them. That's, there's a trauma bond happening where you're falling mm. more in love with your mm. abuser. Mm. It's now affecting you aside from the physical. It's going to your psychological and mental. Con you are being attached to it. Okay. And it becomes Funny, they'll, they'll more They'll beg difficult. you. They'll cry and yes. beg you. It becomes more difficult to separate. And that's why you see you come and solve a case of domestic abuse. And the next minute, the woman has carried her back and gone back. She's not yes. going back for her children. Let's not deceive ourselves. She's not going back for herself. She's going back because she's already addicted to the mm. pain and love connection. So there's mm. a pain and love connection that brings you together when abuse is done and uh, apology mean, comes course. afterwards. Abuse is done, apology wow. comes after. You are training your brain to attach um, a form of joy right. from pain. Right. Wow. That's what they get attracted to. And that's oh, why they keep going. Let me, let me, let me, let me take a this call. Let me take now. this call. Yeah. Kelechi, okay, cool. Kelechi from Shashak, you're live. <clears throat> So sorry for keeping you. Go ahead, please. Hello, can you hear me? You're live, yes. You. Go ahead, please. Okay, um, let me start by saying congratulations to, to you women. I was part of the 10th anniversary work you did. Oh, yes. I met you, Kilichi. Thank yes. you very, very much. I like your analysis. In fact, I won't go and when this program came up. And I like the analysis of my sister from another mother, DC. Oh, thank you. But I want to ask a couple questions. Toki said something that has nothing, you know, based on the, the red flags, what you consider red flags, green flags, and amber. Toki said something. In fact, he almost answered the, the question. He said that it depends on the couple, the partner. He said there's nothing that cannot be managed. Mm -hmm. And it is true, based on the partner, based on the agreement of the partner. Mm -hmm. But it, it, it kind of deviated. When Morayo asked her about physical abuse, no, substance abuse, and she said that one is a red flag to her because that one distorts characteristics and pers somebody's personality, which is true. Mm. I asked Tokla, I want to ask you, is that, is that it being managed? Because there are some people today, their characters have been uh, distorted as a result of uh, abuse, abuse of substances. Today, mm. they are back through counseling and all that. Can counseling change? The personalities that are distorted by abuse of substances. That's what I want to ask. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, thank, to you. thank you, Kelechi. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So I'm going to answer it also with um, the question concerning um, physical. Domestic, physical violence in the way you asked it, that you've had a sweet marriage all through and maybe the man lost his job and then there's so much pressure or he's been excessively aggravated at work and you just gave him small hits that you did not think was a, could be a trigger and it led to beating you would judge a person based on the majority of who they are and their willingness to change so if majority of this person is kind sweet loving supportive and one day something just triggered him he, very unusual behavior he goes violent you know that okay you have not been like this since forever this is a major deal breaker for me seek help if you want this marriage to continue if agree if he agrees to seek that help then we have a marriage if he doesn't agree to seek the help then it's a deal breaker, it's a red flag. Same thing with um, drug abuse. If someone is 80%, 90% very stable and whenever he used, when he started using drugs, things started going bad mm. for that person, 
then we will say, this is a deal breaker for me. Seek help. If he does not seek, seek help. You see, the real thing is, people Willingness. We, we are not will, we, many mm. people are not willing to seek help. Yeah. And that's why marriages break up. Yeah. The, the, the unreconcilable difference, what does that mean? It means that both of us refuse to seek the necessary help yeah. to make the marriage work. work. Mm. It's that simple. Yeah. Yeah. If we are more open to seeking help and getting professional help, right. we might have less divorce and more beautiful marriages. Fantastic. They well said. Good. Awesome. What of snoring? <laughs> Welcome to the club. Which type of snoring? <laughs> Generator <laughs> sounding one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've never or experienced the, snoring. Or the that sounding one. <laughs> yeah, uh, so snoring. Yeah, the, even this morning, I had to tap him. Oga. It's too loud. <laughs> Change your position. Change your position. Change your, yeah. So that is not a red flag. I, I don't so, so when I got pregnant, <laughs> I didn't know I started snoring. <laughs> yeah. So one day he told me, baby, baby, baby. <laughs> Change your just, uh, I started again, baby, baby. When I woke up in the morning, I said, you were disturbing me. I said, what happened? He said, you have started snoring. <laughs> <laughs> and I know it's the pregnancy. But please, just try and be changing your body. So I don't think he would have said, OK, I'm going to, after all, I'm picking a carry away, make me this. <laughs> <laughs> so snoring is amber. Amber, amber to green. Amber, amber to, to green. Amber to green. Yeah. 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 I know, yeah. I think that's why he goes to a different room. Yeah. Green. Uh, 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 put stockings in his let mouth. Me, uh, let me uh, take uh, Tunde uh, from Bakodo. Good morning, Tunde. Are you there? Thanks for calling. Hello, good morning. You're live. Go ahead, please. Yeah, please, I just want to seek your advice. I don't know which category this question I want to ask, whether red, whether green or amber. <laughs> How about the spouse that has been married for quite a while? Then if you tell her something, if you tell her this is white, I should be telling you this is black. Aye. She won't agree with you until the outsider came in mm. and they will tell you this is white. And you continue on and on for a while now. You can imagine... Let me tell you an instance. Going to airport to pick a, to pick a brother. At the airport, the road, no parking, no movement, keep moving. And she said mm -hmm. you should stop at that point. Immediately I parked. All these airporters came. They parked my car. I was annoyed. I couldn't see anything. I kept cool on the steering. Mm -hmm. Then she started kneeling down and begging, begging them, all these small, small boys. I don't know how much she paid them, maybe 5000 or 10000 And this has been continued on and on. What kind of situation is that? <laughs> All right. Thank you, Tunde, for that. That's an interesting um, angle. Mm. Um, I remember I had that complaint many years ago <clears throat> when I was complaining. It was RDJ that advised me. I told RDJ, don't ever advise him to Brown. He doesn't listen to me. He's always an outsider. I will tell you exactly the same thing I've said that you're not listening to. Ari just told me something that I, I think I've shared here several times. He said, you have to earn his respect. <laughs> There's something you're doing that is causing him to respect you. You earn his respect to the point where anything you say, he will listen. Mm. Find the thing that you've been procrastinating about. And do it. And start doing it. Yeah. That period, I was procrastinating about, oh, I want to lose weight, I want to lose weight. And because my husband's an exercise buff, I just started trying to do that. Then we started your view. No, no, your view had already started. Then there were about two or three things. Okay, I wanted to pray in the morning. I wanted to do something. And I wake up with him. He'll be, my husband is praying, you know, I won't answer him. I'll be sleeping. Mm -hmm. He'll be complaining. I can't be sleeping, you know. Then I started waking up. Let me just wake up at five. And I'll go and pray with him because I prefer to wake up and then I pray. But he will wake up very early and be scabbashing. So <laughs> he had a serious issue. But gradually I started listening to him. Mm. I started earning his respect. Mm. After a while, when I talk to Brown, he listens. Mm -hmm. So I'm just, I'm, that was my own royal advice. So it might not be the only solution to everybody's advice, but mm -hmm. that's what Harry just told me years ago. Mm -hmm. And then I started listening May to what so he wants and gradually, and I was earning his respect. It took from years. But now we have a conversation that when we talk, we, 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 we agree. We come to an agreement. Yeah. That's my own solution, but so, it might not be your own solution. I, but... I think that it is actually a very powerful solution that yes. we don't, we don't know. I take for granted. Yes, because after you said it, for me, it's, it was opposite. Mm. I just always believed some other people. When I married my husband, he was always reading self-development person. And he got into my mind and he just focused on making money and he no longer was reading books. So when he was advising me, I'd be like, you that you don't read, you're telling me to read. So he lost a bit of that respect yeah. from me. So mm. I wasn't taking his advice because I felt like he wasn't practicing. You are giving me um, principles that you read 10 years ago. When was the last time you opened a book to read? In my mind. Mm. But... He started his journey back towards self-development. Mm -hmm. And I started seeing changes in him. He became more disciplined on many areas. Yeah. And he earned my respect again back. without even knowing. Yeah. Mm, so now we're in a place for the past two years that 
I, I respect him so much more than I did even when we got married. Mm. And he didn't know that he even lost respect mm. or he got point. it back. Yeah. But he didn't show it. Because I did not... So this yeah, is that, yeah, it was just exactly, in my mind. Yeah. Yes. I just felt like, yeah. you don't have a right to tell me about yeah. this. You, who, you, you're exactly. being hypocritical about it. Yeah. But, but he's problem. earned it back. So that's so the same. So he, he could be... to look at what his the areas of his life mm. that, that he... Procrastinating about. Yes. Your wife, hypocrisy. Yes, when you start doing it, your husband, your wife will start pushing to you. She told him to park. That is not like a place where that's an example now. <laughs> this is a different thing with this because yeah, yeah. she would have listened to him mm -hmm. if she just felt that like, you know what you're talking about. Yes. If you know your yeah, husband man. knows what yeah. you're talking about, he listened to, to her. <laughs> She's <laughs> <self> -park. <laughs> okay, more complicated matter, you know. That was <laughs> yeah. This is this is okay. Once okay, I think I, I think I have a caller. Good morning. Are you there? Okay, I thought I had a caller. Okay, so there's another there's another um one I want to talk about. Um, I think there's one that caught my attention. Uh, I thought I, thought, I thought was snoring already. Not sexually active. You're not supposed to know that now before marriage. Amber or You're not supposed yeah, to know that, that, that But just in case it's you know. Red, but, it's, it's but if Amber. somebody is not, is not, it doesn't like, he or she ah. doesn't like bedroom activity at all. Uh, it's not again. It's red for <laughs> is me. Is it amber? Amber. Is amber. it green? Amber. It's red. Hey, why like why are you thinking? Why are you thinking about it? Let me oh, take this call. Oh, yeah, Jolo. I don't know if I say it. Hey. Well, I don't boss. All right, so. She um, says red. Is it yes. red for you? So, so, like I said in the beginning, <laughs> you have to look at your personality, look at yeah. yourself, and determine what is red for you. Mm. And um, what, so, for, why is red for me is I, I can't walk around that. Mm. That is something that gives life and joy. Again. I cannot walk around it. We all kind of walk down to do around because it. Because you don't have a, you don't have an alternative. I don't have an alternative I'm not right now. I'm not meant to. I'm not wired to have an alternative. Oh, so me, it's got to be there. So, or some it some might differ. I beg to differ. Uh, that's think, your person. Different, different, different people. I, I think. I think. I think. I think the activity is overrated sometimes. Yeah, for you, for you, I for mean, you. I didn't, I didn't jump in. <laughs> <laughs> I like you to talk. Let oh. Some people will tell you that it's for me. It's a great act. Thank God for it. But I don't think it's a deal break. And you born for me? Yeah, I, I'm on that. Yeah, and you born for you? Yeah, that's for kids. Yeah, Immaculate yeah, conception. Yeah, no, no, my fucking ass. That's what he's But I think we put so much. It's good. I think we put so much emphasis on oh this sexual activity. It's not. It's not for you. Money. For yeah, you. So. For you. Why, let me say why I say it's amber. Mm. It's amber because it can be worked on. Right. It's amber because marriages go through a period when it is fire fire and then it becomes cool cool. Mm. And so because of that fluctuation period, I believe that it can be amber. Mm. Um, but I, I also think that if we don't analyze the situation, we might be missing out on trauma. Yeah. And if you don't deal with the trauma, you might end up losing a beautiful relationship mm. with someone who is amazing but just has to deal with the trauma of the past. Mm. So I th that's how I feel like it is, Amber. You, you're you're well, looking at now. You. Totally thoughts, how, how is... My thoughts, my thoughts is, for me, mm. is green. Eh? Eh. Because, um, you know, coming from where I'm coming from, oh. it's something that... You would prefer them just to be, not to be... Exactly. So I'm, I'm okay with it, you know. Mm. I, can, I can go without it for six months. Mm. Wow. It's be, because of the fact that my introduction to it was not so fantastic. Mm. I had to, to even enjoy it, I had to go through um, um, say, psychiatrists. Therapy, yes. mm. So for me, it, it's not a problem. Mm. It just works with me. It's not something that I will go out of my way to say, oh, no, because... Mm, mm, no, no. It's, 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 okay. It's, 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 okay. It's, 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 Let's try <coughs> being not being spiritual. Mm. You're, you're a Christian, mm. for example, mm. and you have met this guy or this girl, and doesn't she's just pray. fantastic. She's great, but she's not Jim Jim. You know, she doesn't go for night vigils. She doesn't go for <laughs> you know. She doesn't go for midweek service or she doesn't go to church. She's not the ah, our daddy or yes daddy, need the daddy, mommy, mommy. You know, she's just a regular person. Do you think that's a deal breaker? Is that a red? That, you know what? I, my pastor would never approve of this. My pastor or my mother, <laughs> mommy in the Lord, would never allow, allow this. <laughs> or can I ma can manage? Or it doesn't matter. We just fall in love and we move on. Where, where, where do you? Okay, so let me jump in. Um, <clears throat> it's, not a, it's not a deal breaker for me. I think that um, re re religiosity, the religious activities, do not in any way affect the character of a person. A person can be very religious, praying in the morning, praying that praying night, and then he was dishing you after prayer, he would dish you blows. <laughs> after the second prayer, dish you blows. The person can be stealing and be going to church. He can be, do you know how many people steal within church system? Yeah. Workers in church, pastors Talk that are conniving. <laughs> My husband sells IT products and he was shocked to tell me one day, he's not a gym gym, and that's how I'll go there. 
And he came back and he was so surprised. He said, this is a pastor. And the pastor in the church was telling him to inflate the figures of a contract. He cannot imagine. Why would someone... And I said, uh, that's the a way of the world. Being. He's a human being. <laughs> so I am <laughs> not in any way moved by those things. Because I've had, as a date, when I was dating, my husband wasn't a prayer warrior, be Jimmy pray, praying in the morning, fasting and prayer, but he has strong values, yeah. like very strong values. His moral compass is extreme. Ah, even me that I'm a Christian, Your if you give me, it. if you, you know, if God can bless in different ways. <laughs> <laughs> and, my, <laughs> and my husband will be like, what do you, how can you take, how can you be willing to do this? <laughs> like, so for me, it was that, I looked at the value mm. beyond and not the, the religious, religious uh, spiritual the display. Talk by sir. I'm robber. Mm. They go to church before prayer. <laughs> Pastor, go pray for him. Make the operation be successful. And he will go and, and kill people back. and come back for but prayer. Are so, no, 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 So, no, I'm, I'm uh, totally on top of page right, here. Yeah. That whether you are a prayer warrior or not. No. My, 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 own, my own perspective is that I'm going to another, start on another example. My best friend male got married to my best friend female. Ah, nice. Mm -hmm. Now, my best friend male is a Muslim, strong mm. Muslim mm. that does his prayers five times regularly. And my friend male is a CAC mm. member. Your hey, female, female, female friend. Female. How and they've been, the How did they, for, exactly? they've been married for 10 years. Wow. Guess what? When my friend, because I introduced them together, oh. when, I, when my friend, my female friend said, uh, um, um, so who do you think? I had three guys that were my kids for her. Oh. I had a guy that was a Christian, blah, 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 blah. I told her, I said, this person would not work. I mm. said, how do you deal with this religion? But I know that this is the right person yeah. for wow. you. How do I mean? <clears throat> they are living perfect. Mm. My, my friend male allows them to go to church. Mm. He does his prayers and everybody's okay. Mm. So what, I, what do I mean? It, it, back to what you're saying, it has to do with personalities. Personality. Mm. Okay. It's, a, it's a personality thing. Okay, so, yeah. Um, we need to understand, first of all, that... Um, we are spiritual beings having a physical experience. Mm -hmm. uh, religion has taught us the other way. So it seems like we are human beings trying to find a spiritual experience. And that's why people are going to several places to get that feel of that connection. Mm -mm. We have swapped it. Now, as a spiritual being who uh, believes that you are here for more than just what you see, you see that you constantly work on developing yourself. And that's where the character comes into play. So I would advise any uh, young person, it's not about the religious activities. It's not about the um, uh, whatever religion you're doing, the showing up, the prayers and all of that. It's not about that. It's about the essence of your character after you've finished your sure. practice. Mm -hmm. So you look beyond, you go to church five times, you go to the mosque seven times, you go to uh, your traditional uh, 17 times, and <laughs> how does this person treat his or her neighbors, his parents, exactly. his friends, when people are not looking, what does he do? Those are the things that you have to pay attention okay. to so you don't miss it. That's it. This is a very controversial one I'm about to take now. Hey. hey. Go, 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 go. <laughs> <laughs> Family and cultural, hmm. tribe, ethnic, tribal issues. Hey. It's always a major problem where a Yoruba person wants to marry hmm. an ethnic or an Igbo person wants to marry a Hausa. Hmm. You know those inter-tribal marriages. For some people, is it a red flag? Is it an amber or is it a green light? I mean, would you, we, I've, I've, I've known somebody Green who, light for me. Um, for, for me, I, I, I know somebody that wanted oh, to marry, I think it's a family member, mm. wanted to marry from a family in the East and they were dating for some few years. The girl never told her, her parents mm. that she was dating this Yoruba boy. Mm. <laughs> He's actually a cousin, I think. You know, she never told, I mean, she doesn't mean she was dating a guy. So, but she thought her, her, her parents, she gave them an Igbo name. You know, ah. so, you know, but the people that schooled abroad, you know, so they were to brand it. So mm. once in a while when they see them, they just think, this is now, just come back kind of guy. But when it was now time for marriage, hmm. they didn't allow him. Wow. They, that, the family said, nope, she had to go and find somebody from her own tribe. tribe. Wow. So for her, she was willing to go all the way. And the, the, in fact, the, the pastors got involved. Because the pastor says, I can't join you until I have your father's blessing. Mm. Yeah, so the there was a major problem for her to get married because she didn't really care. She was going to say, I, don't, I could go live in the East. I live in, the, I live in Lagos, so I don't care. She was going to stay with him. But the pastors were not going to join them until mm. they got that parents' blessing. And unfortunately, they had to break it off. I mean, 
It's oh, absurd. I, have, I, 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 I think happens. that's really sad. Very sad. I, I think it's really sad. I think we need to um, live past that tribal, tribal or, differences. you know, stop, we, we need to stop it. I, I, for me, it's not a deal breaker. It's not a deal breaker. Yeah. I don't care where you're from, right. as long as you are, I love you yeah. and you love me. Yeah. I, I, for me, it's not a deal breaker, obviously. <laughs> I am Tokwe Makodige, so I married someone from Edo, and it was a bit of a challenge with my parents, but it wasn't really about where, it, yeah, a little bit about where it's from. Maybe if you spoke Yoruba, my mom's major concern was that I have an in-law I can't communicate, communicate, communicate with yeah. well. I would have to be speaking English every time I want to talk to <coughs> your, your husband, and I, I'm not conf I, she didn't like that. She also felt like the previous relationship she's had that um, our cousins or f family friends that have married are from Yoruba to Edo, it was terrible. I said, so de let's not look at that. Deal with this person mm. one on individually. one, individually. <laughs> and I had to fight and inform, um, lobbied everywhere to get them. And my parents are pretty liberal, so at the end of the day, they were That's convinced. Clear. But uh, a friend of mine was, about to get, was supposed to get married at the same time I did in 2010. And the parents said no, and she couldn't fight it. She believed, she, was, she just felt that, my parents said I must marry a Yoruba person. The is sadly, she she's still no? single till today. I was, gonna, I was gonna say that. And the that. guy really, it was, in our case, the guy was Igbo, and the guy really loved her. I felt Aww. like, she, you, maybe you don't love him, but Enough. the guy really loves you. I think you can fight, fight for, for this relationship mm. to work. Mm. You can fight it, yeah. but she didn't. She bowed to the pressure of her parents. She's still single. I feel that we shouldn't allow religion. It's for me, it's a green green. Like, it's a, the green is even very, very, <laughs> it's a neon green. <laughs> it's shining so bright. It Go have, ahead. There shouldn't be barriers. There shouldn't be barriers when it has to do with emotion. Mm. Because you just never can tell exactly. that chemistry, mm. where that chemistry is coming from. The Chinese, and the, the, moment you, in the moment you lose it, you, you may not find never, it you, not, you, may, you understand? Yeah, so the, the, the truth of the matter, you can't say because of the fact that somebody is a, 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 a Igbo or a Hausa, so because of that, you have to restrict your emotions to the mm -hmm. fact that I have to be... It what if be. you don't even flow with... Yeah. With, um, with your tribe's with person. Your tribe's person. Yes. So I people, some people are like that. You can't help with the love. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. So you can't help it with love. So okay, I think we've covered that very well. Let me move yeah. on quickly. But, but Mariah, about um, um, if families, families, deal breakers, when you have, yeah. when you, if you are marrying into a family that you like the man or but you they like don't the like woman. You. But you don't but like his fa family. But you don't like the family. The families are... Who? Oh, yeah, wondering oh, how did they give oh, birth to this angel? Oh, the fact that the man is the... Um, breadwinner bread of the family. That can also be, be a red flag. No, um, I, I don't think that. If the man bread is the breadwinner or he's the sole provider of the family. That's sole provider. Uh, you understand? Is that it, a red flag? Is this supposed to be a problem? It's not a problem for me. It shouldn't it be a problem. It's a, pro it's, a pro it's a problem because most of the time, the, the if, if, if when he starts having his family mm. and then the things that he was meant to be doing or he's been doing in the past is um, like. Yeah. It's being cut short. It, it, it yeah. becomes a problem. So for you, and then the woman becomes a victim. Mm. Uh, what if yeah. the mother, the mother in law yeah. doesn't like the mother doesn't like you? Because a lot of times the the um, spouse, yeah. the, the mother doesn't like the, yes. the woman. That's an important conversation. Red for me. Yeah. Is that so when when the family of your the, your intended spouse mm. doesn't like you, red that'd be a me. red flag. Red because in modern times, it's like you you're not marrying my family. Mm. You know, back then, mm. you're marrying the whole family. Like, they're telling you today, in 2022, no, you're not marrying the whole family. You're still marrying the whole yeah, family. Yeah, yeah, you and I will move to Canada. Yeah. 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 We'll move to London. You know, we don't have to do this, them. This is Let Africa. Me, me and in marriage, anything can happen that issues swing both ways. So if I had married just you, I'm not marrying the family, right? And you start misbehaving tomorrow, who do I cry to? Mm. Do I, I don't have a mother-in-law that will listen to me. I've, you see, I've lost those battles. I told myself when I were getting ready for marriage, before I went to the house, and I said, if your mom doesn't like me, see, any love I feel right now, I'm going to kill it. And he was like, relax now. Uh -uh. I said, if your mom doesn't like me. Fortunately, when I got there, she liked me, right? If she did not like me, trust me, I will not be there. Because what can known. it be Amber, where you still... So, you might see, so she might be judging you, from where she's coming from. Mm. Maybe she had, oh, this is how people like this are. Oh, she's screwed up, bro. We don't want that kind of person that will be rude. You know, she had her own preconceived notions about you. Mm. But then, if you as a humble person mm. comes forward, meet her, mm. be kind to her, mm. be a it's good Amber, wife, be a good really. husband, eventually, 
maybe you might win them over because there have been times where people win families over. Uh, in the so, beginning, they didn't like so you, you. You want me to be working twice as hard. Yes. I'm working for love ah. for my relationship. I will still be working for your family too. See, not everybody has energy for some oh. type of stress. Yes. Mm. So I just push away the stress I don't want to yeah. deal with mm. and focus on the person I will come and everybody is up on a love of your life. Oh. When they see me, no? When they see me, <laughs> the joy in their face. Ah, this has come to the me. love of your life. I did not you know, miss for That is you. But a, a woman might miss the love of her life I, if she's I, not willing to I, work. I think it's really important for the uh, parents family. to like the you. Red. Yeah. Is it because the um, my cousin, her father-in-law just died. And you know, before, just before he died, he was calling for her. Mm. Where is Sandra? Where is Sandra? He was calling. That shows you that he loved her. Yes, that's you a understand? sweet relationship to have. Because so it's very important to have... Well, he might not have loved Sandra in the beginning. So, what, Moraya, right, let me tell you I why did. Phyllis is red. I support okay. the... You know, so it's not amber to amber. you. It's not amber, amber to me. There are places, amber for you. Okay. So there are places where it can be amber. But for me, it is it's red. It, it, especially if they are expressive in their dislike of or you. love yeah or if they are if they, if they are someone that express i cannot marry into a family that is i want family i don't know how to say it here, that causes a lake ah me i cannot marry family that you wake up in the morning they are cursing you mm. they are insulting you Chukwa, then every morning i've been in that i'm praying for my marriage i'm praying for my i'm praying for my in-laws i'm praying for my in-laws i'm praying for my in-laws please I marriage is hard enough I without in-laws being your <laughs> enemy well, when, when you come to this is why i say let me let me no 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 this is why i say amber is because sometimes there are peculiar situations yeah for instance maybe the mother in law, maybe he just has the son and she's attached to the son, yeah. and then it's she's gradual for her to get used to used the fact to a that I have person, to. Yeah, and the, the, the wife coming in, yes. you understand? Or maybe you have a, a, a guy that's like maybe the, a, his sister is very, very close to his sister. Yes. Father, sister. The, definitely, we are all human beings. Mm. There's a tendency that they get jealous, yes. but at some point, they will, they will just lose it up on so them. That's another case. That's, that's, what, a, that's what I mean by that's so, a peculiar so, case. so let's not always assume that once they, a, they, they don't like you, automatically is a red flag. In some cases, maybe. But in some cases, it could be amber where mm. you, you know where the money is coming from and yeah. you can have to work around it. Okay, we are running out of time. Final one. Let's see. Let me see. There's so many. I'm trying to pick the one that I... <laughs> okay, this one. When your spouse or your intended spouse is too passionate about their work and career, like this person is a workaholic. Yes, the money comes in. No, oh, it's has green, 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 green. <laughs> uh, no, he just said, no, he just said. 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 He has a nice house, he has yeah. a car, he has a, but those nice times of conversation, the yeah. connection, the love, mm. it's not you know there all the time. Uh, you see, you, you, you don't have that the conversation when you're hungry, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> so the thing you can't is, buy gari, your, 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 your because you don't want to Your personality will determine if it's amber or not. There are people who, uh, their love language is quality time. For that sort of woman, this will be red because you need yeah. that time to have that conversation, that yeah. massaging of the feet and all of that. For some people, <laughs> money is their love yeah. language. Yeah. And as long as you're out there working, I'll be here holding down the fort. When you come once in a week, once in two what months, the wife? once in... Flip it. Mm. Flip it. What if it's the wife that is a workaholic? Okay. Yeah. And you as a guy, you just like the go to normal nine to five, no, no extra hustle, mm. just do your <laughs> nine to five. Like but the woman is the one that is constantly doing and she's hustling, hustling, and she, but she's working. Maybe the money is coming in, but she's working so hard. Mm. Is that a red flag? It, 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 for me, it's a lot of time. Most time you find out that it's that thing that you love the most that now becomes a problem to you. Mm. Mm. Before, before marriage, you already see that this person is a workaholic. Yeah. You already see that this person... That's probably what attracted you. Mm. That's what attracted energy. you in the, the energy, first instance. Yeah. So now you're now trying to revolt against it when you see that it's becoming too much. A problem. Do you understand? So for me, it's, it's not a red flag for me. It's, mm. it's, uh, it's an amber. Mm. Because it's something that before you walk into it, you, you have but to as, understand but that. But as an actor... Mm -hmm. You know, you're always, you, you guys go on set and there's some production back back. that is like production. <laughs> yeah. That can be a challenge. Yeah. For me, this is, the answer is an amber. Mm. It, amber for me because I know that if, if there is love, I can work with it. We can work on it and find a balance yeah. and I can be a workaholic. So I don't, I, I, won't, I, won't want, I won't want a relationship where the person you're married to is not allowed to fully express what gives mm. them joy. Yeah. It's now about you compromising to find the middle That's ground true. where yeah. you prioritize me and I prioritize you. Yeah. Okay. Me, yeah, as I an actor, let me just answer that for, for an actor. As for an woman. actor, 
the kind of I am privileged to be in the marriage I am in. If I say today that ah, Cardi, I'm You're going to be relocation for a month. Okay, ah, take care, bye bye. In the worst case scenario, if he feels that he's missing me too much, he'll say, okay, I'm coming to meet you mm -hmm. where yeah. you are or something. Mm -hmm. So for me, that's why I say it's an amber. But it's just that you have to be able to define mm -hmm. what it is, what it yeah. is before you enter oh, yeah. into that relationship. Because if you don't define it, then it becomes the red flag. Okay, so I think in a nutshell. That, I mean, that's what we can take on this. Um, I think in a nutshell, red flags are, are peculiar to people. Depend, yeah. Yeah, it depends on, on how and you see it. And points. it can be, yeah, so you guys, there are so many other points here. Yeah, right. we, we can take another <laughs> But the point is that everybody decides what's amber to them, what's mm. red and what's green. You decide, but you must be mature enough. You must be also emotionally strong yeah. and, um, and, and sane enough to know, okay, this is what I can take and this is what I cannot take. All right, before we wrap up, YK and <laughs> Fuluke trended last week. Please, <laughs> sort your matter out. Wait, yeah, YK, do you remember something that happened? <laughs> How many years ago? Over 20 years ago. ago. So you uh -uh. said you didn't don't do it. Please, YK, what happened? Go, 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 go. That thing that happened. Look, I, I, I don't want to bring it up. I don't want, because I, if I had known it would trend, I wouldn't have opened my mouth. In fact, I've decided I'm going to be quiet on the show. I won't be talking again because my talk <laughs> lands me on the <laughs> internet. You know, <laughs> but there is no problem between us and for uh, like YK is someone that I I I we don't cut then her hair was not like this then she used to pack her hair afro style mm. and you know it was when I was, I was these are the people that I met when I was stepping into the in the showbiz mm. you know so the, when I when I first saw her she had a very very close relationship oh so you remember that incident with, no I don't remember what I'm, I'm going somewhere okay. you know she had a very close relationship with them um, Funke yeah they were like Siamese twins. Yeah. <laughs> so I used to be wowed by them. Yeah. So I maybe I don't know because you know when I when I when I was growing up I I I was I was a child that was always angry. Mm. Mm. And so maybe yeah. it was a situation that happened. Right. But you know I would never uh, the would oh, be me down yeah. for mm. me to disrespect her. Yeah. No. That is yeah. not me. Yeah. You understand? Mm. Even though I'm an angry remember. child. Mm. Yeah. As I said, Sorry, trouble that's why I said, that's why trouble. I said, that's why I said something. I said, I said, um, and to bashu, to man bag, and to bako, and to bako, and to Then, one le buagba. Sometimes, I can do something that, um, um, it might not be directed to her, right. and it seems as yeah. disrespectful. Right, right. Do you understand? But for me to, Actually, Boju Boya to yeah, be it's no, it's, it's, it, 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 it's not me. Yeah. You understand? But be that as it may, as, as I've said earlier, I'm sorry because uh -huh. um, for her to remember it, it's something that but would have had a, the wrong impression. Yeah. I I I remembered it because we were talking about it on set. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We were talking about something you said on set. So I was just saying, look, young children or young people. You know, young adults, when you do something, it will come back to bite you mm -hmm. in the future. So try now. When you are doing all this, your social media, and you are abusing yeah, people are that are much older than you. Online that are doing you, know, you know, because my it, own concern when I was doing that, apart from the personal grievance that I had on someone, someone that was younger than my children that, were, that was insulting, insulting me, was my fear was, it's going to snowball to it, it will be a norm. chaos. Mm. Because the truth of matter is when we have things like this, that everybody is feeling that it's normal, it's normal, it's normal. By the time we know what's happening, years, it becomes something else. It becomes Unbearable. something else. And because no, not, if you do not nip, nip it in the board, we'll just see that um, somebody will just wake up and say, you are talking nonsense as a parent. And then the, eh? the, the part, oh, my, ah, oh, my point, started stop, already. Stop, I'm telling you. It's so that was just already. my own concern, you know. Maybe the way I did my life at some point i was emotional and I, yeah. I lost it but you know it was not in the place of the seeking respect it was in the place of concern right. we have to wrap up the society mm -hmm. no um there's no problem between us okay. i'm just saying everybody uh -huh. i even said it last week that look there's no problem i just brought it up because i see the way people behave on social media and it's not nice you, you they abuse look walesho inka said something Yesterday, I'm sure that some people will go go at him, mm -hmm. you know, Please. and insult him. <laughs> this is somebody's grandfather, not even our great pride. grandfather. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. don't go after people. Just you know, respect that respect. Let's not lose our mm -hmm. um, okay. culture. Value of culture. Yeah. I think so. On that note.
Esa es ella, Moisés, esa es ella. ¡Ah, ah! ¡Ah, I'm working on um, a cinema job. Ah. Mm, I, I, it's, I don't want to release okay, okay. the title. Okay, I've not paid attention to Now we have issues, but I'm working on it. has to do with unity, it has to do with. Ethnic differences and religion. Mm. Wow, wow. That's that's tiny. Very, very exactly. Relevant. So it's yes. something that that's actually, powerful. That um, we all have our strength in our in yeah. whatever ethnic group we come from, and we have our strength even in our religion as well. Yes. You know, we're supposed to use it to fuse it together yes. to build ourselves to, to be the, the best greatness. country. That's yes. it. This yeah. Yeah. That's ever had. Okay. But when point. I come, I'm, I'm, maybe I might have to pay for it then. But I'll still come back. I'll still come back. At this you know, if you a house divided cannot stand. Yeah. And um, I'm going to have pastors come on set. I'm going to have imam come on set. Mm. I'm going to have Baba. Babalao. Babalao. Uh, yeah. Those are my people. See, I'm looking at Babalao. Yeah. Why can't you? Why can't Babalao? Yeah. Babalao is very modern, Jared. Yeah. 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 I need a fire Babalao to come on. Hey. Hey. We need a proper... The show is over. The show is over. The show is over. Now you're foreign, Babalao. You are disrespecting my Babalao. This is like... This is over. Now you're foreign, Babalao. You are disrespecting my Babalao. Don't tell God, that's what we can take that whiskey. The summary in the end go into marriage with your eyes open. Your partner will not change. Talk about any and everything. Doesn't change or adjust. If you are convinced you can't cope, it is a red flag. But if you can cope with these identifiable red flags, then it's fine. On this table, the choice is still yours to decide the man, woman you want to be with for the rest of your life.